We're also working breaking news in Woonsocket's financial crisis at this hour. With the city teetering on financial collapse, we've learned the school department is taking drastic measures. Tonight, committee members voted to ask the state to take over the department. We've obtained a copy of the letter that will be sent to the education commissioner. It was the school department's enormous deficit that set off the financial crisis, leading to the creation of a state-run budget commission. That commission also met tonight after state lawmakers did not vote on a supplemental tax the city says it needed to avoid receivership. I would assume reporter Susan Campbell is live in Woonsocket with the breaking details. Mike and Susan, tonight we started at the Budget Commission meeting, then we moved to the School Committee meeting, and that's where we learned of a one-page letter from the School Committee requesting immediate state help. Now, there was some back and forth on whether to send the letter, but in the end, the School Committee decided its finances are in such bad shape that they had no other option. Which was the initial goal. The Woonsocket School Committee votes to hand over its control to the state. Passes with a heavy heart. On Wednesday night, the school committee voted 4 to 1 to ask the Rhode Island Department of Education to assume immediate control of the Woonsocket Education Department. It's drastic times. We need to take drastic measures. In a letter to the State Department of Education, the school committee wrote, Our fiduciary responsibility is to both educate Woonsocket's approximately 6,000 school-age youth while also operating with a balanced budget. This simply cannot not be done. Now the president of the Woonsocket Teachers Union is reacting to the request. Anytime that you give up local control, then you know there's issues. Do I want the state to come in? I want the state to come in because we need the revenue. What I don't want is I really don't want to give up local control because I think the local control has been very beneficial for the students in Woonsocket. Wednesday's vote comes as the city's state-appointed budget commission is working to close a $10 million budget gap and avoid receivership. The reality of looking at a receivership becomes more real as each day goes by and, and uh, unless if if uh, we're able to get some some movement very quickly on a lot of these things then uh, the, the the time just runs out on us. Woonsocket is the third Rhode Island city to request state oversight of finances. The city's budget commission has not decided whether it will support the school committee's request for a state takeover. Reporting live in Woonsocket with the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.